this video, I'm going to show you eight quick ways to clear up space on your Mac's SSD on the new Mac OS operating system, Ventura. Let's get right into it. So first you can look into getting a utility app that scans your hard drive and finds and deletes any unnecessary files. There are lots of different apps that do this. One of the most common ones is Disk Cleaner on the App Store. Personally, I use Parallels Toolbox. To scan and delete, I go to Parallels Toolbox and I click Clean Drive. Parallels Toolbox can scan your log files, cache files, trash, browser data, mail cache, mobile apps, iTunes, iOS device backups, and old updates. And just by hitting Clean Up, it can safely delete files I don't need on my Mac. The next method is to go to System Settings, General, and Storage. Now I can see exactly what's taking space up on my Mac. I'm going to leave Applications, Documents, iCloud Drive, and Mail alone. But if I see that my Messages is taking up a few gigabytes, I'll go ahead and hit the I on the side. And I just click and press Command A to highlight everything. And then I hit Delete. And I'll do that until there's no more megabyte sized files in my messages. If you do a lot of music production, hit the I next to music creation and make sure you have only the necessary loops and plugins that you need. The next method is smart folders. Smart folders are a great way to sift through a ton of different files by setting parameters for the folder, which in turn makes it so that your smart folder only displays the files that you want. To do this, we're going to go to Finder. We're going to click File, New Smart. So right here it says New Smart Folder, and this is where we set our rules for the folder. So it's going to search this Mac, and I'm going to hit the plus to add another rule. So I'm going to click the drop down, and I'm going to go to File Size. And I want this folder to find all files that are greater than 1 gigabyte. And just like that, all the files on my Mac that are bigger than 1 gigabyte fill my new smart folder. I personally have smart folders for files over 750 megabytes and over 25 megabytes, but not greater than 750 megabytes to find the smaller files. If you're a Mac user that has a ton of photos on your computer, consider checking out the new duplicates folder in the Photos app. It will automatically scan your library for duplicates and show them to you side by side right in the Photos app. So I definitely don't need two copies of this flower. And I can see that I have a 3.9 megabyte file and a 2.1 megabyte version. I typically delete the bigger file. I can also hit Command A to select all and then choose to merge. Merging duplicates reads, merging will keep one version of each duplicate set that combines the highest quality and relevant data and move the rest to recently deleted. So I'm going to hit merge. And next I'm going to go to recently deleted and hit delete all. Next, while in Photos, go to Photos, Settings, iCloud, and turn on iCloud Photos. That way, you can optimize your Mac storage by putting the full resolution versions of your photos in iCloud and keeping lower resolution versions on your computer. If you have tons of space or high quality photos on your Mac is super important to you, you can opt to download originals to this Mac, but that's definitely not going to help you save space. Lastly, if you're a Mac gamer, go through any of your game distribution apps like Steam, Origin, GOG, and others. Typically game files don't show up in Finder, so it's important to go into the app itself to check for and delete unnecessary games. So that's it. I hope these tips can help you clear up some space on your Mac. Please like and subscribe if you learned something from this video, and I'll see you in the next one.